Doom, 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 doom. The byword of, of looking to the, the, the amazing crag is, have you found a diabler? Have you found another one? Like it's the word we use to try and describe the King Crag, the, the best place we've ever discovered and developed. <laughs> When you first look over the edge, the old nerves start going and you just think, wow, this is it, you know, this is, this is deep water sailing paradise. Deep water sailing has been a massive part of my life and I've seen some beautiful crags and I had an idea it would be pretty good, you know, but when we got to the top of what, what then became Diablo and looked over the edge, it was, you know, it was pretty obvious immediately. Most people were kind of struck dumb. Everyone was literally just staring and going, uh, it, was, it was a good moment. And it was pretty obvious, I think, in the first few seconds that what we had was, you know, it was pretty special. And that was our first view of what became the best people to a crag in the world. Um, we got to the top of the crag and we just got there, looked over the edge, threw our bags on the side, we looked over the edge and just running around like, like kids in a sweet shop, just like not sure quite what to do. We sort of eventually sort of uh, started calming down a bit and started looking at the structure of the rocks, sort of the, where there were holes, where there were lines, what was, might be possible. Well, when we first saw the crag, actually, I think we had about two and a half hours of daylight. So it was, it was pretty late by that time. And I think we put up something like 14 new routes in two and a half hours, which sounds ridiculous, but there were quite a few of us. And we were pretty eager. And the conditions were perfect, it was dry. So we literally just, like a bunch of ants, just scurrying all over it. And, uh, yeah, amazing moment. And then the next day continued in the same way. Lots more routes. In fact, we had five days, and, and not only Diablo, the surrounding area, there's lots of other stuff. So we basically rushed around for five days, and I think we put up 35 routes or something like that. And all of them were like the best, highest quality sport routes that you've done in places like Spain or Kalimnos, but with the added bonus of being above perfect deep water. I mean, it just doesn't come much better than that. The style of Diablo, it's almost like sport climbing. I mean, it's, it's quick, it's convenient, you can get to the bottom easily. Getting out is relatively safe as long as you're kind of careful and you know where the exit points are. But because it, it's, it's really all about like overhanging, pulling and, and really kind of maxing yourself out physically, Cova del Diablo means the cove of the devil. What more do you need to know? It's all in the name. So after going to Diablo, we were just hell-bent on finding another crag globally that was either as good or perhaps even better. And, you know, our, our search took us to Vietnam, Thailand, Oman, Sicily, all over the world. And it has to be said, we've still not found a crag as, as good as this. And maybe there's one out there, but it's yet to be found. Is the, the byword of, of looking for the, the, the amazing crag is, have you found a diablo? Have you found another one? Like, it's the word we use to try and describe the king crag. The best place we've ever discovered and developed.